Well, howdy, Sand Hill Cranes, and thank you for joining me for another activity with Mr. Brown. I'm again out in my backyard lab in a very, very windy and sunny Florida day. I hope you have all been safe and are having a great day yourselves. One of the things we're going to do today is we are going to learn about density and solidity by trying to figure out if we can fit an entire cup of cotton balls and an entire cup of rocks into cups of water without spilling them. So for this activity, you're going to need a cup of cotton balls, a cup of, it can be rocks from your garden, it can be uh, Lego bricks, it can be beads, um, anything that's very, very solid. Two cups of water that are filled almost to the top and try to have them at about um, filled to the same level. And then we have a plate down here in case of any spillage. Uh, you could put down aluminum foil as well. Anything just to make sure if we make a mess, we can clean it up very easily. And I'm also going to use some water-based paint to color the water to try to make it a little bit easier to see. So we're going to swirl those up. That way we get a nice even coverage there. So I want you to think, can we fit this whole cup of cotton balls into this cup of water? What do you think is going to happen when we start putting these into the cup? So let's see here. We're going to start taking our cotton balls and we're going to start dropping them in. And we're going to watch what's happening to the water. Push some down in there. Whoop. And you might want a paper towel too in case you need to push the cotton bottles down in there. So I'm going to keep putting those in there. Now notice that our water level is staying the same even though I'm putting these cotton balls in there. So I've got a whole cup of cotton balls in there, but my water level has remained the same. So now I'm going to take some of my rocks. What do you think is going to happen to the water when I start putting the rocks in there? Watch the water level very, very closely. I'll start dropping them in there. Notice that my water is rising and if I keep putting rocks in there eventually the water is going to go right over the top and spill out of the cup. So what is different between our cotton balls and our rocks? Well, a cotton ball isn't very dense or solid. It's actually a bunch of fibers that you can just pull apart and you can see it's really Just nothing at all. It just comes apart. It's very wispy. So when we put it in the water, the water is able to flow around all these little pieces of the cotton 
and the cotton is able to absorb some of the water so the water level doesn't rise. It's not very dense. It's not very solid. Now, if we compare that to our rock, well, a rock, we have the saying solid as a rock. The water is not able to flow inside of the rock because the rock is one solid piece. So because of that, the rocks displace the water and it flows out of the cup. Now I want you to think, since we were able to fit one cup of cotton balls into the cup of water without rising the water level, can we fit an entire second cup of cotton balls into our cup of water? Give it a try and Talk with the folks around you, your parents, your fellow students, your teacher, about why we can fit that entire second cup into the water. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for another activity with Mr. Brown later on.